there's 30,000 DACA recipients that are in the healthcare workforce that are helping fight COVID at the moment. I am an EMT, an emergency medical technician. I work in an ambulance in New York. I'm working as a housekeeper. We're, we're giving out bags to people that don't actually have work right now. I'm a paramedic for the city of Houston. I am also a DACA recipient. I have been in the United States for about 20 years now. 19.8 million immigrants are part of the essential workforce in the U.S. I take very good pride of my job. Thousands of healthcare workers in the U.S. under the DACA program face the possibility of losing their jobs and even getting deported. We're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. My sister, she working in the market. I'm very scary about her. Buenas porque repartimos comida aquí. Los jueves estamos repartiendo 200, 300 bolsas de comida. People that are making masks, you know, for us uh, that are immigrants, there's a lot of us out there, you know, helping out. The Center for Migration Studies says foreign-born workers will be essential to the United States' economic recovery. These are people. These are animals. Families that have lost their job, families that are maybe now caring for an elder, now have been let go. Yo ya tengo 73 años. Padezco de diabetes, de depresión. No benefit of stimulus. There's no opportunity for unemployment insurance if they've been working. I know we put our life in risk. If there are no workers and it's impossible to sustain that work, then there's no food. If the people who do this type of job stop working, be we have so much to offer to this country. What makes me different is that work permit and a social security card. This is what I love to do, and I would put my life in place for others. Immigrants play a big role in this country.